Hi, this is Marianne Quintana and today is February the 3rd, 2019 and I'm here to discuss about the different um, shapes of our bones. Um, we have five shapes of our bones or five bones in our body, shapes of our bones in our body and they are the long bones, short bones, irregular bones, flat bones, and sesamoid bones. And um, we actually have at least 206 bones in our body and they are mostly categorized by the shapes of it. And so first I'm going to discuss about the long bones. And mostly or most of us when we hear about long bones, we think of its um, size. But with this particular one, it refers to the shape rather than its size. Because for me, like when I, when I hear the word long, I usually think of like it's tall, it's like um, huge. I mean not really huge but big. But uh, with regards to the long bones, um, it's usually cylindrical in shape. And um, the main function of our long bones is to provide strength, structure, structure, and mobility. And um, mostly we can find our long bones in our upper limbs and our lower limbs. And so um, it's also good, or we use our bones, our long bones, for lifting or for leverages, you know, something that we need to move, we use that bones. And so when our muscle moves, our long bones move as well. And the few examples that I, that I have for you with regards to the long bones would be our humerus. So this is our upper arm. And then we also have our radius, our radius, and our ulna. And also we have our um, uh, femur. And also we have tibia and fibula. So those are the few examples of the long bones in our body. Next one would be our short bones, and mostly these bones are usually more wide as they are long, and um, they are also like cube shape. Uh, I mean, cube like shape, cube like in shape. So, um, um, like when I hear short bones, or when we hear short bones, I associate it with like a square like, kind of like small, you know, um, small bones that are square in shape or cube in shape, something like that. And the primary primary function of that is for support and stability with little to no movement. So one of the few examples that we have in our that I can show you is our um, the carpals in our wrist. So as you can see, it's like cube shaped like, and then um, also the tarsals in our ankles. So I'm just trying to show you slowly because I don't want him to move um, to fall. So. This is our tarsals, okay, and so those are our short bones. Um, the next one would be our flat bones, and usually they are thin and flat from the name itself. It's flat, um, and we can also like associate it with like, you know, um, the best example or the good example would be our cranium, our skull, and our rib cage. And um, one of the main function of that is for the extension, extensive protection or the outline for muscle attachment. So for example, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, our rib cage and then our cranium or our skull. So that is actually the few examples of, our, of the flat bones. Next one would be our irregular bones. They don't have a specific shape, like from the name itself, irregular, they can be like... Um, like they have an equal size, they don't have a specific shape compared to like long and short bones. Um, and they um, usually serve as the protection of nervous tissues, for example, for like, for instance, our vertebrae, um, our vertebrae, they are protecting our spinal cord. So mainly the, the main function of our irregular bones would be, our, um, would be for the protection. And we can mostly find our um, uh, irregular bones in our spine. So in our spine, like spine over here. So the few examples that I can give you would be our sacrum, our coccyx, our zygoma zygomatic bone over here, our maxilla, and our mandible. So those are the few examples of, um, of um, our irregular bones. And lastly would be our sesamoid bones. And these are usually embedded in the tendon. And we can mostly find... Um, Sesamoid, sesamoid bones in our joints. So one of the few, best example would be our um, patella or our kneecap. And as you can see, it's usually shaped like a sesame seed, 
that's why it's called sesamoid bone and um so i've mentioned this you know the usually the bo the sesamoid bones are usually found find in our joints and aside from the patella we can also find few sesamoid bones in our the the back of our big toe so there are two ball like shape in there and those are our um not ball like like you know two little sesamoid bones in there so those are a few examples of our um sesamoid bones so there you have it um those are the five shapes of our bones. Thank you.